especially after the revelations and the plot twists of last episode, this episode being called a reunion across time and space makes a lot more sense. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 118. Like I said, a reunion across time and space. Last episode, we had Lumiere and Nero, or Secre, I gotta start calling her that, I guess, go into the Shadow Palace where we had the flashback of Secre and how she used to be Lumiere's servant, and he was interested in inventing magic items, making... Uh, society he was more like on the julius nova chrono side where he believes society and these class standards should be more equal and that branched off to not just humans but also to elves as well and he wanted them to live in harmony because there was not really war against each other but some understood animosity uh, misunderstood animosity because one was just fearful of the other and the other knew they were fearful of the other so they just kind of stayed away but with Lumiere bringing them together, it could, could work, and I uh, totally appreciate that and respect that. But we found out that the devil, who's been behind this thing all along, convinced Lumiere's family to attack and to, you know, humans are selfish, greedy, all this, that, and the other. But in a, And it's revealed that the demon that's in Hodge was licked the whole time, who turned himself into a demon, asking Lumiere to kill him, which is why the whole beginning narration we've had for 100 plus episodes at this point was about licked and which is just crazy to me but that's what makes me question what's going to happen in this episode because it's a reunion across time and space and lumiere is going to the shadow temple and licked is at the shadow temple so it was patry so it was a lot of people who knew lumiere back in the day 500 years ago so i'm very curious about how this is going to go down very curious very excited i say we jump right on into it don't forget if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on the Patreon. Links are down in the description like always for you guys. If you guys want to support me, Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. I really do much appreciate it. Don't forget to follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop into this Black Clover episode 118 a Reunion Across Time and Space. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Are we actually gonna see Lumiere go against him? Like, like actually? I remember that from the opening. So many people probably just died. <laughs> They're giving us like the full narration this time. I love it. I've been waiting on this. I've heard this, this music and this, oh. Hmm. Getting the full story behind this feels so good. You were born to do this job? Good man. Oh, uh, I want to watch this opening so bad, but I can't, man. Man, in terms of a design, Lick's demon design looks fucking sweet, I can't lie. I didn't know we'd actually see this fight. Licked is so powerful and just so damn big. Look at that. Oh, and Sekri's still back looking at Tetia at the really that's horrible. I love when they animate it all super fluid like that. Like, they did it a lot with, like, Patry, Julius, you know, when they move so fast, they literally look like a flowing light beam, you know? He's not wrong, but I'm curious about how Lumiere would actually be able to 1v1, you know, the demon. Not the demon, the devil. Yep. It's too strong for the magic item and broke through it? Was that Lick's voice? <laughs> if only things could have gone 
like the way they were supposed to, I genuinely wonder what would have happened, you know? If Licked and Tetsu actually had their baby. I like that transition between Lick right there all happy and now he's right here, you know? And he's saying, please end me right now, like do it. Lumiere doesn't want to because that's his, supposed to be his brother, you know? Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Ooh, it's like God's judgment, the holy smite. This looks like one damn powerful spell as he's crying that he has to kill his future brother-in-law. You know, just crazy. But it did work. And that's how he literally like evaporated. Comparing the skull, how big that is, to how big the actual body was, was crazy, you know? Is this what he means by keep her form? She is a master of sealing magic. Yep, she's turning into an actual bird. This is crazy. Yep, so he knew at that point Patrick was going to be, yep. Is that the elf reincarnation spell he did? And that's what brought Patrick back. That's exactly when he did it. Both the one of two of the strongest magic users in this area and very good wholesome hearts both got snuffed out by some bullshit, man. That's crazy. And in doing so, she turned herself into a bird. And that's how he became several years later. I wonder if Nero would ever go, you know, Sekre would ever go visit him. <laughs> I can't look at her the same now. That's so crazy, man. For 500 years, you looked at... Oh, she did have that. Yeah, she did have that original five... Oh. So, yeah, the original grimoire. I mean, I guess that makes sense. The original grimoire that the devil was just about to get off Lick's body. You know, Nero... Sekre, whatever you want to say, was watching over it while, meanwhile, waiting for these certain order of events to play out so she could eventually bring Lumiere back and Asa's the one who got it. And finally, that day has come and we are here. Today we put an end to this long fight. You know what? I'm ready for it. I'm here to watch it. It's been a journey. As we cut back to the man, the myth, the legend. Ooh. A reunion across time and space. How think how fast Lumiere just got there from Hodge. Oh my god. And Lick's like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> just wait till Oster recognizes it's narrow. That will be funny. Can we get the actual OG licked back? Any seal, whether that's a seal on a soul, whether that's a seal on a door, whether that's a UPS package, hey, shouts out Sekre. Ooh, the reflection of the sword. Yeah, no matter what the plot twist is, he's not worried at all. We have Patri, Yami, Charlotte, Licked, fucking you know Asta, Lumiere, and he's not worried at all. It was completely wrong. Yes. I'm glad he's telling him this. That's true. I, en I, en I personally enjoy that outlook that Licked has. Like, he's like, yes, you've done horrible things. You thought it was for the right reasons. It wasn't. So you technically cannot be forgiven. But I know 
technically you had good intentions, so that's why you're still my comrade. I, you know, I, it's it's very complicated. It very much is. You know, that's the it's the complications of humanity. You know, you do things for the right reasons, and shit just does not go that way. But I like how he's like, even though what you can't you can't be forgiven. You know, that's in the past. We must move forward and make sure that my mistakes, your mistakes, Lumiere's mistakes, everyone's mistakes stops right here. 500 years of pain and suffering is about to end when we kill this devil. Let me close my window because it's bright as fuck. Yeah, how are we going to deal with this? Mana zone too. Lamp of Avior Glory. Assort Magic. Origin Flash Rampage. Now we got... Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's me right now. Asta is so clutch, and Yuno's the one who launched him. Let's go. But now we have everyone helping. And, oh, bro, this teamwork is crazy. More to the theory of uh, the unborn baby that's residing in, in you know, you know. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, Yami and Charlotte oh, all in like a dark magic ball. Now Licht is taking her magic. Lyra. No, oh, Charmy and her fucking form is so dope. Yep, everyone's giving some of their magic. Talk, talk about an elf spirit bomb. Here we go. You will face the true wrath of the elves. Ultimate sword magic demon dweller sword conquering Eon. Like, how do you see anything in that? God, oh my god. This is the shadow palace, so that's like a different dimension, but that like, that like tore a hole in this dimension. As long as his heart survives, he can regenerate his entire body with that word soul magic. So we need magic not from this world. I like the way they said that. I like the way they said that. Not power of this world. And are there powers that we haven't unlocked of our sword yet? Come on, Asta. Come on, Asta. Oh, that was the preview already? God damn it. Alright, here we go. Right back to where we were. Make sure I'm recording. Is that Gwel Gweldre and Revchi? Oh my god. Like, what was that shaking? I'm just here to steal shit. And there's Yami and Charlotte in the dark ball. Yes, I agree, Yummy. I agree. Yeah, let's do Dark Dimension Slash's heart. I'm, that might do it. Asta. Ooh, our lively little kid. Yep. Apparently, because this devil's talking to that devil in the grimoire, like, bro, what are you doing in there? I'm, I'm just going to kill this kid. I'm going to kill you too. And it's just auto going towards him. I need to know what he's saying when he speaks his demon language, his devil language, you know? Oh, he's just spawning more of that. That's broken. Come on. Oh, and they have monsters in them. 
Oh, thank you, Lumiere. Oh! Mmm. Mmm. Wow, he can even use the Dark Elf part of him. And that does work. Come on. What are you gonna do? Lumiere has that much faith in Asta? What's you know thinking? Does he have his own wind sword? Is he being inspired by Licht and Asta? Mmm. Okay, so since his magic isn't working, he was able to use the leftover magic in the air of the people whose magic does work against the devil, aka Licht, aka Lumiere's, and he was able to condense that with his magic to create like a hybrid sword magic. That's crazy. Wind spirit creation magic, spirit of Zephyr. I need to know what Zephyr means. I know it has something to do with wind and tornadoes and like its Latin origin. Anti-magic demon slayer sword, black divider. Shit looks cracked. <laughs> yeah, that reminds you, yep. Now, reveal something. Oh, okay, I like this. Come on, Sekri, giving him the propsy, you know, he worked harder than anyone. <laughs> he truly is foolish, true, but come on. Ooh, with the propeller pushing Asta forward. The black divider coming in strong. That's straight through the chest. Did they do it though? Can he move his heart? <laughs> All right, you know sword looks freaking badass. I can't lie. We gotta, we gotta end this quickly if we can. Mm. They gotta go protect people, I guess. Go do what you must do. Nazel Mimosa, come on, save the day. My wife, here she is. Trying to do what she can to stop this fucking muck from getting everywhere. Combo spell, Demon Dweller Sword Protecting Light. So it goes to everyone that the sword has a connection with, yep. Nice, nice, Sue. Ooh, shouts out Patry, keeping him safe. Good, good. We got you know Austin Patry going fucking ham so we can save everyone. Jesus. Give him some active comms. Okay, we're doing mad combo magic in this episode. We'll do an all-out attack, okay. I love the widescreen and the saturation that they're doing for this flashback. My boy's been through it. Let's go, <laughs> I got fucking goosebumps right now. That's the one way to get Asta to keep going no matter what. Just tell him you're going to surpass him.
Oh, the cigarette falling from Yami's mouth. Oh, I love this throwback, man. Oh, stop showing me this fucking guy, man. He's the fucking goat. For Julius. Oh, with the opening. Let's do this. Let's do this. A mana zone one? Equinox! Let's fucking go! Right in half. <laughs> That's the boy. That's the myth. The man, the legend. There's the heart right there. Get him. Heavenly prison. Faint omen. Come on, Asta. He is split down the middle. With the song playing in the background, there's no better time right here. And Nero would be the one to fucking see it, seeing Lumiere. Oh, the flat. Shit's making me tear up right now, man. I've been on this whole journey with Asta. <laughs> Look at this boy. Look at this legend. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh. With the song, with everything, with everyone teaming up, with Yami being a part of that. Thinking of Julius, thinking of Lumiere, with Sekere, Nero, everything fit perfectly. With the heart finally being cut. Jesus Christ, I gotta blow my nose. Oh, it's over? God damn. Talk about a couple of two episodes. Good lord. Like, we started out with the fight exactly where we left off between Lumiere and goddamn Licht and the fucking devil. No, he was the demon. There's the demon who was what Licht turned into. And then there's the race of devils that, what's his name, was who just died, which is fucking dope. Shout out, uh, we don't know that he died, but his heart got cut. So I'm fingers crossed he died. But Lumiere. Damn, Licked and Lumiere was causing havoc. Like, it was chaos. But then, I love how Lumiere was crying and he needed it. He's like, this is why I was born with this, so I can prevent you from being a murderer. And he said it in such a good way, too. He said it, he didn't say, like, I was born with all this so I could end you, put you down, do this, that, and the other. He did it for the good thing, you know, so I could stop you from doing bad. You know, it's like, hmm, it's a good way of putting it. I like Lumiere. I really like his... I need to know more. I, he was thinking about Tetsuya, and he was thinking about Licht, and that has to do with Yuno, and it definitely seems as if Yuno, or their unborn son, reincarnated into Yuno, but that can't, it can't be Yuno himself, because that was 500 years ago, so when Nero or Sekre was talking to Lumiere about their respective orphanage that's not a word, but, you know, their, their childhoods, he, oh, I need to know about both their childhoods because the way it was phrased, I know they're not just fucking nobodies. Like, they're not nobodies. Nobody who is in those situations, like, uh, and I don't mean to say this in a bad way, but I've seen plenty of anime. I've seen uh, plenty of shonen. I've seen Naruto, you know. If you're born in that situation, you're not a nobody. You're the main character. So there's got to be something deeper. I'm super excited. Um, seeing Yami and Charlotte work together, everyone, no, the amount of combo magics that we saw in these couple episodes was insane. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The amount of people surpassing their limits to do what needed to be done, insane. You know, and Asta, you know's new sword and Asta's new sword as well, both insane. Just all around crazy fights. I, the only thing I really didn't like about these episodes was and he had a, a a wide variety of magic so it's it's kind of more like a nitpick but it's just um uh the devil when he would be like oh i'm getting serious now oh he's serious now he wasn't serious before but now he's serious he just spawns more black purple goop you know now it has little worms coming out of it but it's like i liked when he would do the fall back the heel the swords of damnation or whatever like the multiple i just 
I'm not the biggest fan of the purple CGI goop, but hey, you know, everyone has their, maybe that's, he likes, maybe he has a goop fetish. Maybe he wants to fight with goop. I don't know, but um our our i was about to say our boys but our boys and ladies everyone definitely went off this episode popped off we got to see a little sneak peek of everyone we saw jack we saw charmy rill fuegolian mara leona gueldre revchi like we saw a little bit of everybody but i'm excited to see where this goes and i'm hyped if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, you guys. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day. Peace.